Okay, well, we, we must keep the show afloat. Uh, so the next guest, uh, whew, we have no, none other than um, Ptolemy C. Ozarski. Uh, sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. Uh, Ptolemy no, that was, uh, C. O Ozarski. Please that was welcome. Anyone but the man. That was 100%. <coughs> Okay, I'm good. I got this. Uh, yeah, let's, let's start it up. Uh, hello, I'm Ptolemy C. Ozarski. I am a uh, leader of catering over at Bites Camera Action Catering. We do catering for a lot of film sets and TV shows. I should have a uh, presentation up here at some point. At some bing. point. There it is right there. Yeah, Bites Camera Action with Ptolemy C. Ozarski. That's the old logo when my dad ran the company. Uh, I'm trying to change things up a little bit. Next slide is actually the new logo I'm working on right here. Oh. It's a proof of concept. Pretty hardcore. Um, but it is trademarked, so please don't uh, don't that take that. That is a concept. Uh, we've worked on a lot of films. Uh, next slide. We've worked on films such as Contraband, uh, American Hustle, Gun, The Prince, oh. Set It Up, oh. Free, uh, fire with fire, airstrike, acts of violence, cop out, first kill, per precious cargo, that was a good one, extraction, vice, vice, inherent vice, get rich or die trying, yoga hosers, uh, some short films, as well as the years 12 through 14 of boyhood. Okay, wow. so I've got two passions. I got cinema, it's my first passion. Next slide, let me get in the middle a little bit here. Cinema shows us our uh, idealized selves in a funhouse mirror fashion, allowing us to express our true feelings with media that we hold dear, acting as an advertisement of the soul, or for better or worse, Bibles for the subconscious, and thusly behavior, even if we will have the most beautiful of intentions. Our human consciousness is a tragic burden that puts us in our own ways, yet ultimately is a uniting factor regarding humankind, and cinema helps us explore and understand this through the art of storytelling, so lifelike that it influences our own dreams. And my oh. second passion Whoa. is food. Uh, everyone likes it. It's good for the tummy. In fact, next slide. Uh, geez, oh, slide before that. I wanted to make a point here. Thank you. Uh, Jesus liked food, and he was also food in a way. Can I get an applause break for that, please? I yes, you're right. Thank you. Next slide. So I'm here with a simple message. Uh, chef presentation in media kind of sucks ass right now. Uh, it's not cool. It's lame. It's boring. It's old school. It lacks sexy danger, and it is not punk. And if there's anything to know from tonight's presentation, uh, it's oh. that chef is punk. Oh, Next slide. Right. Yeah. Look right at that. On, dude. It's a pretty punk thing, okay? So I thought about this over and over again while I was filling up the hot dog machine at work. Chef is punk. I kind of kept thinking, chef is punk. Chef is punk. Chef is, is punk. punk. Chef, chef is, is punk. punk. I chef thought about this punk. so much that I got chef a tattoo. Punk. Chef zoom punk. in on my on the bottom of my chin. It's a little fresh, but it might be visible still. Oh wow, you can uh, see. You can chef sort of. Is, punk. is that what does that say? Freshing. Chef, chef, chef is, is punk, punk right, right there. That is. Yeah. So I've been thinking about this a whole lot here. Being a chef is punk, but I'm not seeing punk chefery in media. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next slide. So here's some movies that represent chefs in their natural, uh, you know, habitat, if you will. But uh, it's all wrong, folks. It's all dialed down. It's for kids, for babies. It's not the real thing, okay? Eat, yeah, drink, man, don't women. coddle them. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, we should get cop. Great. Uh, we should get I water. I drink coffee after. every day, black. You're kidding me. Um, so movies like uh, Ang Lee's Eat, Drink, Man, Woman, great chefs in that film, not punk, decidedly. Uh, Burns is kind of punk until the end when he has to learn his lesson and get better because apparently he was just being too much of a, a dick or something like that. I don't know. It's kind of lame. Um, Hundred Foot uh, Journey, they're all chefs and it's kind of like nice and everyone's connecting and whatnot. But uh, again, not punk rock. At least aesthetically, aesthetically speaking. Um, Ratatouille, pretty good. There's a great chef in that. He is a rat, though, and he is, in fact, puppeting a really bad chef who's lame, uh, out of luck. He's a loser. Uh, the best chef in that movie would be a combination of, next slide, the characters of Horst and Remy. Um, you can either take the rat head and put it on a human body or vice versa. Uh, I'd say that it's not punk enough, okay? Out there in the chat, whoever just mentioned that Ratatouille is not punk. Not enough. The whole point of my presentation is that we can take it even harder than we have been so far. Next slide. So here are some people on TV who are, you know, 
are inching toward punk but aren't punk enough. Emeril Lagasse, when he says bam, it's pretty cool, but everyone then laughs and they feel safe. No, I want him to like fire a gun in the air or something like that, you know, like an actual bam, oh. something like that. Uh, Anthony Bourdain, he was pretty punk, so punk that he died. That's too punk in my opinion. There is a line, folks. Gordon Ramsay, he yells a lot pretty punk uh, but he doesn't yell at kids he should yell at kids because kids are fucking lame next slide fuck kids they're your worst customers ever they're all so picky and they're worried about what they're gonna Whoa. eat and they Ouch. have like these kind of the palates of, uh, of infants Honestly, and whatnot like that and uh, I'm sorry about this this is part no, of my presentation before I met you but uh, I don't like kids I'm sorry you're a cool kid though hey thanks yeah. I mean kids need to hear this Exactly, yeah. You see that kid in the bottom right right there? That's the one from Jurassic Park who was talking to Dr. Grant. You know, if, I, if that kid came into my, my fucking restaurant, I'd be all like... <laughs> yeah? Oh, oh you, want, you, want, you want smiley potatoes, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. back up. Was, whoa, okay. whoa, whoa, let it Now it is, it's getting violent in here. Get out of my strunt. That was violent. Get out of my strunt. Did you just say get out of my strunt? Get out of my strunt. Next slide. They're like restaurants? Yeah, so there's two things the here. Um, a lot of movies are either uh, good at cooking, but not punk, aesthetically speaking here. Obviously, you got Cooking Mama, great video game hero, not punk at all. Julie and Julia, neither of them are punk, although The Talking Heads is playing in one scene in the movie. My mom loves that movie. We got the <laughs> chefs from Big... Big Night, I believe, that has Tony Shalhoub and Stanley Tucci making this big weird egg dish that everyone loves so much. Apparently, but it looks kind of gross in my opinion. Binging with Babish, not punk, he doesn't have a head. And Babette's Feast. Babette's Feast is not punk, but next slide. It is a very beautiful movie. It's very touching. I believe it is Pope John Paul II's favorite film, as well as the current oh, Pope. Wow. Um, yeah, it's a very touching film about someone from a lower class making meals for someone of royalty. Uh, it brings together all types of humanity because uh, we all need food, right? That's my second passion. That sounds really nice, actually. That it's pretty beautiful. So yeah, Next slide. Lovely. People who are punk but probably not good at cooking. Wolverine. Got the knives. I don't think he knows what to do with them other than smoke cigars and say the F word. Uh, the guy from Whiplash. Pretty fucking punk. You got the Joker over there. Sid and Nancy. They're too doped up to probably do any cooking whatsoever. Tyler Durden. Uh, we also got G. G. Allen. G. G. Allen covers himself in poop all the time. Probably not good for a restaurant. They'd be shut down immediately. Still pretty punk. Then the guy from Full Metal Jacket. He's just really mean. Being mean is like the cool part about being a chef, in my opinion. It's pretty badass. It's pretty punk. Next slide. And that's where my favorite film comes into play. This is the best film about being a chef. It is Chef by John Favreau, starring John Favreau. Thank you. Yes, it's a beautiful movie about a guy who makes the coolest food, gets to yell at critics. Uh, he's the baddest ass person in the world, and he has sex with every woman in the film. Uh, next slide. Here's a scene from Chef that I watch every single morning. Every single morning, just to remind me of what I'm doing and how punk it truly can be. Play the clip. If you want to find this video, it's on YouTube from someone. Uh, it says, uh, Untitled Home Alone Gaming Channel, I believe. Yes, a thousand of those views are mine myself. This is a scene where the chef from Chef is yelling at a critic. It is badass as fuck. I watch it every single morning. In fact, let me get you a little insight on my morning routine. Uh, we got my iPad over here uh, mounted oh. on the oh, wall. Wow. We got two dumbbells down below and then a flashlight bolted into the drywall. And I just kind of wow. pick up the dumbbells, turn on the scene, looping it for about 45 minutes, and then I just kind of get going. Oh. And when you say get going, can you be a little bit more specific? Actually, yes, I can get more specific. So with the next clip here, actually, I don't want just watch the scene. I made this little clip myself just to get myself pumped up. Let's go ahead and play it. And so I got the two dumbbells. Get it from the side, maybe. Oh. Right, and now I'm starting to get a bit of a better idea of the visual component. So you're really just you're lifting the weights, and you're you're really just going at it on the wall. As an eight-year-old, I'm getting a picture of what. <laughs> What this is. Have you had the talk yet, Tyler? I gave myself the talk. <laughs> okay. Whew. All right. Wow. I Not good. leaving much to the imagination. Feeling there. good. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I'm all for the sake of transparency and uh, my beliefs. So let's go to the next slide here. I want to get us to our uh, main event. In conclusion, the good things about being a chef include you're being so good at cooking 
that you can tell people to fuck off and you're being Whoa. so badass and they'd be like well he's a cool punk, punk ass chef um aesthetically speaking looking punk as fuck or just straight cool everyone loves you because you're so cool badass and punk the bad things having to learn lessons because being a badass is apparently bad for you uh kids sorry as well as being nice while serving the man so what are we going to do with all these things together well i need your help out there the everything now chat next slide I've had this idea for a TV show for quite a while. It's called Chefs of Anarchy, kind of like uh, Sons of Anarchy, the motorcycle gang show and whatnot on FX. Well, I want to write my own show, and I want your help. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my own laptop. We're going to try and write the first scene of the pilot of Chefs of Anarchy. Oh, wow, right. Exciting. And, uh, the blessed one in the chat is saying that they are a chef. Uh, and it is, in fact, punk. So you'll be able to bring a lot of yeah. your own experiences yes. into this exercise. Welcome, uh, blessed one. Welcome, dude. We're going to make this thing the most punk TV show ever made, okay? Oh, wow. More than punked. So as you can see here, we got some things we want to start off with in a natural screenplay structure. Let's get our setting going. Um, where are we? When are we? All right, guys. Right, so if you're at home in the chat, uh, we need a suggestion for a location and uh, a time period. Um, perhaps, like, well, if it's a chef, maybe like a restaurant. Yeah, maybe yeah. a restaurant in Paris. I guess that's fair, but where is the. Yeah, okay, so ah, Paris. So a yeah. geographic location. 1939, yeah, maybe, Hitler's maybe secret like bunker. San Diego, 1970. Yeah. The moon, San Diego. Oh, the moon, 1969. So He's right when we went to the moon. That's These are all pretty one. badass. I like San Diego. I'm going to start with that here. We're we're, so we're going to be in San Diego. And now where is San Diego? Because San Diego is a city, uh, but San Diego I've not heard of. It seems like maybe a lost desert. You know, it's like creating yeah, our Atlantis, own. But mm -hmm. in. Yeah, it's like we're creating our own location. Originally, I wanted to have it set in a city called Anarchy, but it turns oh. out that that's, you know, uh, not really. Maybe a... San Diego is sort of like the Mad Max San Diego. Yeah. Exactly, in the I 1970s. Have you Sick as hell. Mad Max? You're really young for that. Uh, <laughs> I look for the most uh, visually uh, disruptive movies that I could possibly watch so that any movies later on would seem mm -hmm, to be course. a walk in the park. So I did watch all the Mad Max movies. That's sick as hell. They're really punk movies. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of our restaurant, folks? Right. And what kind of food is it? The name of the restaurant. Well, keep in mind that we are and in the a... the type of food. Sort of post-apocalyptic post San Diego that's yes. maybe buried in sand in the 1970s. It's a good point. So the food's gonna be kind of scarce then. So uh, butt burger. Butt burger. That's Interior. an interesting one. Butt, butt burger. burger. Wait, it, now is butt burger the type of food or is it the name of the restaurant? It could be both. It, like it could, the it's like the it could be like the crust. Yeah. The crabby. Yeah. 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 Like, the crabby, the crusty the crusty crab, crab. Are they, are they punk? SpongeBob punk. SpongeBob. There are some punk characters in Would SpongeBob. Would you say more punk is the Chum Bucket or the Krusty Krab? Krusty Krab, because Chum Bucket is uh, capitalism. Yeah. Is the Krusty Krab not capitalist? I guess Mr. Krabs is pretty capitalist, also. Yeah, but but our hero is SpongeBob. But SpongeBob does it for the love of the. You food. know who's the most punk character in SpongeBob? Who? Squidward. Wow. Oh, work. oh shit. Yeah. He works for chumps. That's true. Uh, user Mick Bridgley is suggesting make gruel. Uh, perhaps that could be the type of uh, part, part on the menu. It could be gruel Absolutely. could be on the menu. Okay, um, so I think what we'll do here is the unsatisfied customers are not happy with their gruel. Okay. Mm -hmm. The ch uh, the chicken pit is a suggested. I I it could be a food, but I think it's a name. That sounds from like Tom a name to me. The chicken pit. Ijan. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Tom Ijan, for that suggestion. You know what it's gonna be? It's like a joint restaurant. Like there's a restaurant around here that has burgers and sushi. So it's the butt burger slash chicken pit. Wow. That's a great name. What, what the about the butt burger at the chicken pit? That's mm -hmm. really good, too. Thank you. Yes? I was just going to say the chicken butt in the burger pit. Oh, all great. Really mixing up these words. I love it. We might and go back to that. You said Jupiter Ninja is saying that they disagree uh, that uh, Squidward is the most punk character and are saying that Sandy might actually be the most uh, punk character on the program. This is a good point. Sandy can kick ass and uh, she uh, knows the rules enough to not follow the rules sometimes. Damn. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. yes. Yeah. Very perceptive. Um, if, you're, if you have any other punk SpongeBob characters, please put them in the chat. We'll talk about that. Uh, what is the main character's name? A dope-ass chef. You know, he's got to have a cool... Right, like, we need a name. In the chef, his name is Jasper. 
That's pretty cool. It's pretty badass. That's pretty punk. Jasper, wow. What it's a honestly punk hard. Name. It's hard to think of anything more yeah. badass. We than challenge Jasper. you, chat, to come up with a <laughs> more punk be, rock name than honestly, Jasper. I'm going to be surprised if I see anything more badass than Jasper. Okay, so Gary. We're getting what about, um, Gary. What about Remy? <sighs> you know, I don't want to step on this uh, on that rat's game, okay? It's part punk, but not so we're going to make ourselves a Gary. Uh, I'm going to just put him in mid-30s. We're also getting Jeff the Chef as a suggestion. I like that as a full name. Jeff the Chef. It's like, like so Chance the Rapper, but he's a chef. Or, uh, got a lot of support for Jeff the Chef. Too. All right, or cool. Garfield so the cat. it's chef Jeff Ronda. Gary the Chef. A Lysandra. Skull Sandy Pits. Skull Sandy Pits is a good Skull one. Skull Sandy Pits is... Okay, so that's our co-worker's game now. Okay. Okay, great. The annoying kid. Brooke the cook and Jeff the chef have both been suggested. Oh, that's that's really good. I really like that. We've also got a lot of screaming about how Gary is the most punk SpongeBob character. Oh, word. Oh, so Gary was not the suggestion for the chef. Okay, Gary. So So not for the chef. We're knocking that out. Jeff the chef. Skull Little. Sandy Pits does sound like a, a bothersome kind of guy. Someone who would be irritable. What was it Brooke the Cook? Yes, we had Brooke the Cook and Jeff the Chef were two suggestions. Okay, so those are the main Elizabeth characters. Elizabeth McDougal. Right, li- and not Elizabeth McDougal. Elizabeth. Like uh, the girl with the dragon tattoo is like Elizabeth Liz- somebody. Yeah. Elizabeth. But this is Elizabeth. So Elizabeth. It's not even I mean, that. Elizabeth. There's really no current Elizabeth reference McDougal for this name. McDougal is on there. It. So Jeff the Chef. Great. A brand new butt burger. Oh, we're hearing Sounds like the music, the music is, a bit is drowning too loud. us. Let's go ahead and turn the music down, Mr. Brain. Thank you for that. If you have any other uh, comments about the audio or anything like that, we always love to hear those. So thanks for that, uh, Wavy Lines. Yeah, we can always work on that for you. Wow. Okay, so here's ding in coming from the front desk. Jeff the chef looks up and looks pissed. Oh, um, uh-oh. And, the, and then Brooke the cook. All right, so Jeff will be like, Brooke, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> right, that's some good You're ruining punk my dialogue. Flow. That's punk. That is some punk dialogue. Welcome to Butt Burger, home of the Butt Burger. Can I take your order? That's probably what it sounds like when they answer the punk. Yeah. That's pretty good, yeah. It's true. Good. In fact, we can put that in the background up here. You can hear that in the background incidental dialogue. Oh, good. Um, Jeff the Chef, Brooke, what the fuck, dude? You're ruining my flow. Typo. Don't get typos in there. No one's going to read your script if you got typos. Typos aren't punk? True. Um, why is... Typo... Typos are punk, so I guess we should leave typos in and tell the executives in the studio's suits to fuck off. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. That sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so what is the unsatisfied customer complaining about? Um, mm. We were talking about gruel. Yeah, really. something about bad gruel. Okay, so he's not happy with yeah, gruel. Yeah, use a McBridgely suggested. Uh, Thank you, McBridgely. Gruel. Subpar yeah. gruel. Gruel not up to standard. Okay, so Brooke, what Nothing the fuck? Nothing worse than a bad gruel. C minus gruel. Right, Brooke, what the fuck, dude? You're bringing my flow. Hey. That dude out there <laughs> Whoa. doesn't like the gruel. I know his name. Who's, who is that? Who's Brooke voice? the Cook. That was Brooke the Cook? That's Can we get Brooke that line cook. one more time? Hey, dude. <laughs> hey, that dude out there doesn't like the gruel. The gruel. Wow, I... You gonna do something about it, boss? Do you have a specific actor in mind for, for Brooke the Cook? Um, one of the most punk actors out there, John Leguizamo. You know what? Now that I hear what you were thinking, I understand the voice. I don't know who that is. Uh, he He's plays the sloth in Ice Age. He plays the sloth in Ice Age. Okay. Um, he kills himself in The Happening. That's pretty dope. Um, anyway. You know, that'd be kind of that'd be punk of you, honestly. But uh, wow, that'd be super punk. Yeah, I'll just type with one hand. It's fine. Okay, so then Jeff is super pissed. Uh, drops. 
knife. Uh-oh. Slow mo. The knife falls to the ground. He kicks it and it stabs into the wall. Whoa. Oh fuck. Oh. That is punk. And you're putting oh fuck in the scene directions? Yes. Just making sure. Interior butt burger at the chicken pit. <laughs> Main floor. So Jeff the chef kicks the door in and stomps into the restaurant. And Tom Maijan yeah. is suggesting that um, maybe Dr. Gaspacho Duval enter the scene. Finally at this makes point. his appearance. Yeah. It's a yeah. great point. That yeah. this could be the time that he enters this the scene. This feels right yeah. for Dr. Gaspacho Duval. Yeah, I was thinking when are we gonna introduce him, right? I think so, we were all thinking that. Yeah, so at this point we're gonna be introducing kind of through the background the incidental characters that we're gonna know to love. Oh, so it's sort of series. like so Okay. We have Lisbeth McDougal, as well as what was their name again? Dr. Gaspacho Duval. Dr. You know. Bacho Duval. Now, I want to use a thing here that all screenplays need, Mm -hmm. and that's dual dialogue. That's the dopest ass shit possible. You're going to hear two people talking at the same time. Like, wait, what are they actually saying? And you're going to want to watch a second time so you can hear what they're saying. That's pretty fun. So, let's get two lines of dialogue for our friends to say here. We got Elizabeth McDougal. Uh, Maybe, uh... Now, what should they be saying? And if there's any chat suggestions, we'd love to take those as well. Uh, For what... Uh, El- what Elizabeth McDougal and Dr. Dr. Gaspacho Duval. Duval could be saying in the scene. Uh-oh. Okay, we've got one from Jupiter Ninja. <laughs> Erg, Brooke, I'm trying to cook a butt burger, but I'm dummy thick. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you read the rest of it? I'll I'm read only it. a child. Right, so, Erg, Brooke, I'm trying to cook uh, a butt burger, but I'm dummy thick, and the clap of my ass cheeks keeps distracting the customers. And then from, we've also got, these pretzels are making me thirsty. Right, and so I think those are two those pr- equally like quality. <laughs> those are to me, neck those and are, neck. These are, to me, those are coming from two people in the same environment. Right. Yes. right that's that right. feels people. like the same, they're in the same world. Yeah, they're having a conversation for sure. Okay, so I'm putting that that, uh, that dummy thick line in Jeff the Chef's mouth now because I think that, that makes logic more. Great. So, yeah, Liz- oh, because he's that's cooking? That's, that's very yeah. punk, yes. Yeah, so punk now indeed. the scene goes, Brooke, I'm trying to cook a butt burger, but my dummy thick and my ass claps are distracting the customer. And Brooke goes, Hey, that dude out there doesn't like the gruel. You going to do something about it, boss? And then uh, Jeff drops his knife, slow-mo. The knife falls to the ground, but he kicks it, and it, it stabs into the wall. Oh, fuck. Interior butt burger at the chicken pit main floor. Jeff, the chef, kicks the door in and stomps into the restaurant. You hear Elizabeth McDougal in the background. These pretzels are making me thirsty. And then we need another line of dialogue. The health inspector just arrived, and he's sopping wet. Oh, that's good. Great, great. It's, now, is Dr... Uh, Gaspacho Duval is he like speaking in third person is he the health inspector like he kicked in the door and he's like the health inspector arrived and he's sopping wet that could be a twist or that could is be he, a twist. he talking about someone else honestly uh, I'm thinking about it in the sense that he's kind of like the norm of the, the butt burger at oh, the chicken okay. pit. He's just like a recurring customer. He's like, he knows what the... Uh, like a regular. Is, he's a regular, yeah. yeah. And so when he comes in, everyone's like, Dr. Gaspacho Duval in unison. Okay. Like Norm sure. and Cheers. Yeah. You seen that? Uh, uh, no, I can't say that I've seen Cheers. Okay, so we're moving on here. Uh, these people are talking. And then Jeff the chef approaches this annoying little pissant. Okay. Skull Sandy Piss. Oh, oh right, no, skull. skull. I, Sa- I almost I forgot so about skull left sandy that pits. Behind in my mind. Wow, I'm glad we're picking up skull it's sandy sort of pits. It's like finding a buried treasure that you've long forgotten to come upon skull sandy pits at this time. We should all practice how we how we react when uh, Doctor Gaspacho Duval walks into oh, the, right. into the uh, into the the. I believe it's called the Butt Burger at the Chicken Pit. The Butt Burger at the Chicken Pit. So maybe someone do a little bell dingle. Ring-a-ling-a-ling. 
Oh, it's Dr. Dr. Spacho Duvall. Okay. Yeah, that felt good. That felt right. That felt yeah, good. good. That's all right. So that's Jeff the Chef yeah. approaches this annoying little pissant skull, skull sandy pits. Yo, this cruel fucking sucks. <laughs> Kiss my ass. Whoa. Wow. And now that customer. is that is punk right there. It's super punk. That's but you know what? Punk. You know what? Jeff the Chef is even more punk. Okay, and this is San Diego, and that, that kind of <laughs> right. thing I forgot play. we were in San Diego San this <laughs> whole time. So, you know, I think when this film comes out, it's important that they almost make San Diego like the the a character in the film. Yeah. It's right, true, yeah. like the city of New York in a yeah. Woody Allen film. Yeah. Not punk. He's not punk. Um, okay, so Skull Sandy Pits says that shit. Um, Skull Sandy Pits spits in Jeff's face, Whoa. but Jeff dodges. Wow. The spit reflects off of a decorative hand hanging from the ceiling. A decorative, a decorative hand. hand. Bounces back into Skull Sandy Pits. Eyes. Wow. Now that wow. is punk. And we also had a suggestion from Jupiter Ninja who was suggesting that maybe, uh, Skull Sandy Pitt should be having an affair with Dr. Gaspaccio's husband. They're Got clarifying it. this would uh, only be revealed in Act 3, though. I'm right, sure right. Oh. Skull Sandy Pitt is a child, but maybe right. the product of this? Oh, yeah, affair? Love Child. Okay. Yeah, Love Child. That's very interesting. Um, I was going to make like a witty comment about cum in there somewhere, but I'm getting confused Whoa. about how to fit that in. Sorry, kid. Um, if, so somebody, if somebody in chat has a way of incorporating cum into Yes, thank you. Yeah, please throw that out there. We also have a, a, a potential quote for uh, Dr. Duvall. Please. Uh, Dr. Gaspacho. Right, Dr. Duvall. Oh. Dr. Duvall should react to this thing happening. Well, Tom Everyone has a suggestion. Yeah, Tom is saying, team, uh, we're only going to get through this if we work together and play the Creed only jukebox for inspiration. That's uh, pretty that's good. That's pretty good, right? And we all know that Creed is very punk, so that. Even I know that. So thank you for that suggestion, Tom Ijean, and that great punk music reference. Absolutely. Creed. Very, very sick. Uh, Christian punk, in a way, you know? Oh, yeah. Christians need punk, too. Oh, and no. what a disaster suggest oh. <laughs> suggesting what if the gruel is actually cum, and that's why it's too spicy. You know what? I, 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 hate, <laughs> I hate to over... <laughs> I, I hate to overstep, but if it's spicy, I would suggest that it's the stuff that we had to eat today. I was actually going to say, what yeah. if mayo and There were comments saying wow. that maybe it was the Pepperman's the pe cum. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 Mr. Pepperman. No, 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 Please, no. Mr. Pepperman, spare us. Okay. I, he seems to have crawled back we, into wherever he was. We got to be quiet and, and try not to summon him. Right, sorry. It's, yeah, we can't see his name. If you say the, like, if you say say the P name man's time. name three times, he appears. If you say the P man's the P man three times, oh, someone true. else entirely impaired. Right, yeah. so no more mentionings of any of these strange men. Jupiter Ninjas pitched a sort of comedy of errors, a little kind of back and forth comedy moment. You got your cum in my gruel. Well, you got your gruel in my cum. Right, like the uh, do you remember those Reese's commercials yes, with the chocolate and the peanut butter, but it's with cum and gruel. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's. That's good. Skull Sandy Very punk. Yes. Uh, yeah. Charlie Chaplin was the original punk. Um, <laughs> so. You this got. Very Chaplin esque. Come in my gruel. And then. I'm going to delete this line of dialogue. I had already. Excited for my mom like to my watch cum. this episode later. God. No, I'm I excited. For my thief parents to watch this. One of the other yeah, customers totally opens their burger and shows it to their friend. Does this look like cum to you? That's from Wavy Lines. Okay. I'm wondering if we have to settle on cum. <laughs> we don't have to. That was just an option. As, as the theme for the... Just as, you know, an eight-year-old. Yeah, but it, that, 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 does, that does bring a lot of, like, <laughs> okay, so, good so stuff with the health inspector storyline later on, and that's an important life lesson. That's true. true We're true, setting true. up... Uh, and also, we've got a suggestion here uh, from user v, uh, VCV1. Uh, and welcome, VCV1. I welcome, don't think I've yeah. seen you in the chat so far tonight. But Thanks for joining us. 
Uh, we salt our uh, our burgers with salt produced by seamen. That's really <laughs> actually really funny. I don't get that. Because uh, like, like a brine like salt water the sea man. The, on the sea, the seamen have provided our salt. It's not it's not a funny line. There's no oh. double entendre. There's no puns. It's oh. just it's just some world building. Okay. Okay. Got it. Also high B C D. Okay, so so far I have it that the lines of dialogue go. Uh, he spits a thing and bounces back from the ceiling pan, and then uh, decorative uh, decorative ceiling ceiling skull. Pan the thank you, uh, skull. Sandy Pitt says, Fuck! and then Doctor Spacher Duval du- du- in the background says, "Team, we're only going to get through this if we get together and all play the Creed jukebox playlist." I believe that was a line by Tom. The Creed only juke. Creed yeah. only. Uh, skull Sandy Pitts goes, "Your gruel tastes like cum." Does this look like cum to you? And then Jeff the chef leans in and says, uh, we salt our burgers with salt produced by semen. And then Jeff the chef leans in and says, uh, but I also put my cum in it. Oh. <laughs> and then we need an wow. act of violence. Okay, great. We need an act of violence to show just how badass and punk it is. And then that's the cold open of the show. So what and should... this is all in the opening. This is all this the is cold the open. Theme song. It's right. exterior... The butt burger at the chicken chicken pit, pit. S- title San, San Diego, Diego 1970s. 1970s. Cut to the kitchen, and then that's where we start off. Great. Right. So it's, we we need so an act of violence from the chat. Could, could the um the food itself, the burger, could it um explode? That's 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 very bold. That's, that's very bold. very bold. Okay. Well, I like Tom. this one from user What a Disaster who suggests uh, Jeff gets on his skateboard and kick flips someone to death. That sounds pretty good. Okay, fun. I'd like to combine all these somehow. <laughs> um, so I'm going to get SWAT in there. I'm going to get the exploding burger in there. And I'm also going to get the kick flip into death. Great. So let's just open up on the window. Yes. Jeff grabs the skull's burger. I like the, spe- the specificity of, of the SWAT entering Monsters, Inc. style. Yes. Right, yeah, that really paints a picture. Thank you, user Tom Ajan. I think most of us aren't sure what it would look like just for normal SWAT to enter, but yeah. when you say <laughs> Monsters Inc. style, that's something that we know. That really solidifies we the image. Like really I also clears like the idea up. of San Diego existing in a universe that has this door system in place where, like, yeah. Jeff the Chef could be in your house at any time and right. you don't know when. That's scary as hell. Uh, user Sparky Sparkles is suggesting that uh, Brooke the Cook. A roundhouse kick, Dr. Duval. That's a great idea. I'm going to put that in there, too. Even though I've accidentally written that Dr. Gaspacho is actually helping them out. But I think there's some inter-family violence would show yeah, how yeah, punk yeah. it is. Like Sons of Anarchy, but it's Chefs of Anarchy. So I don't know if you can see on the screen here, um, but I also put my cum in it. Jeff grabs a skull burger, throws it against the wall that explodes. Um, Dr. Gaspacho Duval throws Jeff a skateboard. Jeff starts kick flipping with the board hitting Skull in the face over and over again. Meanwhile, I'm going to write this in. Um, Broke the Cook starts beating the shit out of Dr. Gaspacho Duval. Uh, was there anything else to that comment from Tom? I think you got, uh, you mainly got the mo- you got the it. You got the highlights. Okay. All right, good. Tom is asking if this is based on Hamlet at all. And essentially... Essentially, um, Sons of Anarchy is very Shakespearean, obviously. So I'd like to base ours off of, like, I don't know, Twelfth Night. Bye, Mick Bridgley. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you so much for joining us here. It's like Soa, yes. The script is punk as fuck! Yeah, what a disaster. Thank you. Whoa. All right, That's and then fun. we need a badass ownage line, and then we're going to cut to credits. All right, give us your badass ownage lines, everybody. Just one. Wavy is wondering if it's 12th, 12th Night, is Jeff a cross dressing woman the whole time? I don't know if you've seen Sons of Anarchy, but uh, I believe, uh, what's his name? Joel McHale does a little bit of that in the show. It's uh, Shakespeare, okay? It's a, it's a cultural thing. Sizzle, 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 sizzle flip, flip the griddle. griddle. Thanks wow. for coming. Thanks really for coming. Like oh, these are good. Wow, those have to. I think those. I think are we, not we can combine yeah. those. Yeah, those are great. Thank you. Okay, so it says. 
says sizzle, sizzle, flip the griddle. Then he just kick flips um, Skull's head off clean. Right off. Uh, and then he says to the camera, uh, thanks for coming. To the camera? He says it. He looks into the camera. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Punk rock. Thank you. No. But I think that everyone could be punk and a chef. Thank you. Yes, no. Uh, uh, but I think that's being sold to us in a pretty little package, you know? Like, where, where are the flames? I mean, isn't anyone asking that these days? Where are the flames? I don't that's think right. I'm I, I didn't even that. think about where the flames had gone. I, like, we're, I haven't seen them, you know? <laughs> where are they? Okay, okay. End, end of cold open. Let's go ahead and give this a, a nice read. Can you guys see from over there? Uh, uh, sort of. Yeah. Sort, sort of. of. Okay. Uh, enough. You know what? I'll just go ahead and do this this read by myself then, bound, uh, bouncing I, between the characters. I think that's for the best. That's probably, yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, great. Do you need any, like, y- you want us to scream or <laughs> yell or anything during Damn it? Damn right, Sparky to do that. Sparkles. Uh, yeah. Should we act it out? We could, if you guys want to come over here, at least um, our, our the child and the pickle, um, could we actually have us act this out? I guess I'll be. I guess I have to be Jeff the Chef. I can I can read screen direction. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Oh dear. So we're gonna pass around the microphone too. All right. All right. So guys, this is uh, scene one, act one of Chefs of Anarchy. Thank you. You all wrote this. Remember, you all wrote this. This is your sin. Let's get the script up on the screen, please. Thank you. Title. It's probably it's gonna cover you up a little yeah. bit. Okay, we're just gonna Hold on. What about down here? Oh, that's oh, better. That's better. Yeah. Yeah, you could. You have to stand to the side a little bit. You all did this. Great job. You're all screenwriters now. We're in. We're in WGA technically. <laughs> So important vote for us happening we right are now. Very important. Okay, so we got Aiden doing the stage mm-hmm. directions. Yep. I'll be Jeff the chef. Who Tom is suggesting cut the music. All right, we're bringing so down, down the music, music for this dramatic Actually, scene. I brought up some music. Um, if you want to find some of that, uh, some some dope new metal maybe. <laughs> Uh, great, that's sounding so, really great. Wow, so I'll be that's, Jeff that's the chef. fascinating. Creed, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, you be Brooke the cook. I'm Brooke the cook. You're Dr. Gaspacho. Dr. Dr. Gaspacho Duval. Um, and then you'll be, I guess, everyone else, basically. Okay, so I'm... Skull. I guess Skull. I'm guy. Brooke and Skull. And Brooke who, who are you? I'm Jeff, Jeff the chef. Okay, got yeah. it. And so, I'm Dr. Gaspacho and Duval. And I'm everyone else. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I trust your acting skills. Um, but I'm doing that I have a lot of like experience to create a deep picture of any character. Okay, let's go ahead and get this started. Sounds good. Right. Interior butt burger at Chicken Pit Night, San Diego, 1970. Jeff the chef is kicking ass in the kitchen, flipping a brand new butt burger. You hear a ding from front desk. Jeff the chef shoots a look up. Brooke, I'm trying to cook a butt burger, but I'm dummy thick, and my ass claps are distracting the customer. What? Hey, that dude out there doesn't like to gruel. You gonna do something about it, boss? Jeff drops his knife. Slow-mo. The knife falls to the ground. He kicks it, and it stabs into the wall. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Interior butt burger at Chicken Pit, main floor. Jeff the chef kicks the door in and stomps into the restaurant. Uh, these pre- these the pretzels are the making me thirsty. The health has arrived and he's, he's sopping these wet. These pretzels are making me thirsty. Sick. It's Jeff. me, Dr. Gaspaccio Duval. And me, Elizabeth <laughs> McDougal, talking together. Jeff the chef approaches this annoying little pissant, piss ant, skull, sandy pits. Yo, this gruel fucking sucks! 
kiss my ass. I'm sorry. I have a sorry for the curse. <laughs> But Jeff dodges. This spit reflects off a decorative pan hanging from the ceiling and bounces back into Skull Sandy Pit's eyes. Oh, <laughs> yo, this this screw fucking sucks. Wait, yes, yes, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I couldn't see because of the spit oh, in my no, eye. That's fine. Yeah. Next page. Oh uh, fuck. Is there no more of that? Uh, okay. Oh. Uh. Team, we're only going to get through this if we get together and play the all Creed only jukebox playlist. Your gruel tastes like cum. Does this look like cum to you? We salt our burgers with salt produced by seamen. Chef the chef leans in. But I also put my cum in it. <gasps> Jeff Skull grabs the Skull's burger, throws it against the wall, it explodes. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Duval throws Jeff at skateboard. Jeff starts kick flipping with the board, hitting Skull's face over and over again. Meanwhile, in the bathroom, the cook is eating the shit out of Doctor Vicky Sizzle, sizzle, flip the griddle. Jeff kick flip Skull's head off. Whoa! Thanks for coming. Right, and so that's when the credits would roll, right? The that's opening the credits opening of the show. Credits the the show opening roll. credits of the show. Yes, exactly. Great. I think that's a great cold open. And ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's your punk ass uh, TV show that you helped co write getting executive producer credit all of you wow well done well done to everyone here and everyone at home that was quite a dramatic amazing scene that's basically a reel we can just send that over to agencies now i think and we'll all just wow it. it's gonna go like that that's the first time i've ever cursed how's it feel dude come on high five me <laughs> For, you wanna you wanna fuck let's do it man Hey, that was basically a high five. Uh, yeah. th thank Man you, Miss Manface. Man Mrs. Manface, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being a part of your support. Of that. I have to sit down. Mwah. You know what's punk as hell, chef, uh, Sparky Sparkles? Mwah. Like that. So you do the <laughs> oh, chef kiss. Yeah. Mwah. It's punk as shit. All right, well, that's it for my segment, honestly. We wrote a nice uh, script for a pilot.